Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at the GPU Technology Conference in Silicon Valley, and today we're at the Supermicro booth with Les Lorenzo. Les, let's start at the beginning. Who is Supermicro, and who do you guys help? Supermicro is a company that was founded in 1993. We uh, currently have a run rate of about $3 billion per year, and we help any and all sorts of people. We supply many OEMs in compute, storage, and networking. We, so, we supply integrators with basic building box or complete systems. And we are in various vertical markets, including high performance computing, financial services, manufacturing, and so on. Uh, we offer an infinite variety of products yeah. at various levels of integration to meet the needs of all our customers and their differing levels of expertise. Well, thanks for that, Les. So I heard about this new box, a storage that's blazingly fast. What can you tell me about this? Uh, we call this box the new form factor, or officially the NGSFF, next generation small form factor. And when we mean small form factor, oh my gosh. we mean really small. Yeah, yeah. Uh, compared to two and a half, uh, inch drive, we get far more density. This system operates with uh, offers 36 uh, small form factor drives for a total capacity right now of 288 terabytes. And we'll be going later in the year, we'll make this available with 576 terabytes. So think of it half a petabyte in one U. Now that's only half the story. The system is built with an NVMe backplane, and as you know, Rich, uh, the advent of flash has sort of rendered SAS-type drives obsolete for high-performance applications. It only takes four or five SAS drives to completely saturate a, a bus. Now this system, with two Intel processors, each with 48 PCIe lanes, can supply 96 PCIe lanes, each one at 985 megabytes per second. Now, that can be used by the drives, it can be used by our two 16 slot PCIe or one four uh, lane PCIe. So, what I'm basically saying is we've removed all the bottlenecks from this. Uh, NVMe has begun taxing the CPU. But we have enough lanes to. We also support Intel OmniPath on this, and we have an RDMA uh, model, so we can actually do RDMA over OmniPath, or RDMA over InfiniBand, or RDMA over Ethernet. Also has two 10 gigabit Ethernets built in, so you don't use any slot. But really, the key thing is the 36 drives here. Okay. So wrap up question here, Les. What kind of applications are going to shine on? Real-time analytics, um, trans transaction late uh, intensive databases, be they um, the unstructured data NoSQL or a relational one, um, any kind of latency sensitive application, uh, applications for financial trading, uh, converged infrastructure, anywhere where latency is sensitive, this box will satisfy those needs.